Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about higher order derivatives. And for each problem, we're going to find the indicated derivative with respect to x. So if I was given this problem, y equals a negative 4x, and we wanted to find d to the third power y over dx to the third power. So the third derivative here. Okay? Well, first thing I want to do is find my first derivative, right? So for my for my given function. So we have dy dx is equal to, well, I use my power rule, right? So there's a, a 1 up there. 1 comes down to 1 times a negative 4 x to the 0 power. Okay? Well, let's go simplify that. x to the 0 power is just 1, right? x to the 0 power is 1. So we have dy dx is equal to 1 times negative 4 times 1, which is just negative 4. And so that is our first derivative. Second derivative now, so d2y uh, over dx squared. Well, negative 4 is just a constant. It's just a constant there. And so the derivative of a constant is just 0. Okay. So now by the second derivative, we have a derivative that is equal to 0. Okay. Second derivative. But I need to find the third derivative. And this is where it really doesn't matter how many derivatives you take. Every single derivative from here on out is just going to equal 0 because the derivative of a constant, which is 0, right? 0 is a constant, is just 0. And there we have it, our final answer. The third derivative of y is 0. So let's recap. We're given y equals negative 4x, and I put to the first power to help me see it. The derivative of that one, uh, power rule, brought down the 1, x uh, to the 0 power, right? We subtract it. Uh, and then we simplify that, and we 1 times negative 4 times x to 0 power, which is, is just 1, is negative 4. Take the second derivative from there, and uh, since this is a constant, the derivative of a constant is just 0. So we got that, the second derivative is 0. And then from there on out, we're just keeping the more, every single derivative we take is just going to keep equal to 0, because we're taking the derivative, derivative of a constant, which is 0. And so our final answer is d to the third power y over dx uh, to the third. Ooh the third right there, is equal to zero.